It's time to dust off your favourite chair and sit in front of the big screen TV. Get a drink in your hand because it's five o'clock somewhere. Your number one host, the thunder from down under. A man on a quest to make money for beer. Sparring DK presents... Relegation Regen Rebuild. Atletico Madrid. Hello and welcome back to Relegation Regen Rebuild here with Atletico Madrid. Uh, we got a win. We got a win in the last episode and uh, the scrutiny that Mancini is under is just immense pressure at the moment. Our manager rating is at 59 and we need to start working. We, we just need to build off that last win. Hopefully we can pick up a victory in this one and start closing in on some of the teams above us. We're probably looking for a 14th, 15th sort of finish if possible. But uh, let's just roll straight into this episode with a player upgrade. Right, today's player upgrade is for Galado, the Spanish left back. This one comes from Arsenal FC 14. Uh, I think it is his second upgrade for the series, so well done. Had five thumbs up, not many on this one, but uh, make sure you are putting those thumbs up down below on anything that you think looks tasty. Let's get into this one. Uh, the number 14, normal fit, long sleeves, untucked, low socks, red boots. Very simple. He's ready to go. Let's get into this one and see if we can go back-to-back -back victories. Right, coming off a win is Atletico Madrid and uh, a little bit of hope in the team at the moment. We're here at the Wanda Metropolitano Stadium hosting SD Huesca. Uh, we're going back to the standard formation. Uh, we've got a win, but we need to be a little bit more attacking. I mean, we can probably play the wall away from home and just try and get ourselves a draw. But I think at home we need to go for it and uh, hopefully we can get the job done today. But I mean, the boys are tired. This game is not too long after the last one, so there may be some stamina concerns, but Prado gets his first start here today. The Mexican striker, the only change to the starting 11. Uh, Diaz, Castillo, Suda, Rodriguez, Nedlev, Manuel, Alvarez, Silva, Gallardo, and Prado is up front. Let's go, boys. To Gallardo, and he'll slip this one inside. Alvarez, quick touch on. Nedlev sees that run. Silva plays it through, Castaneda! Oh, it was Alvarez, he's just missed. Good work, good work, Prado plays this one off. There's Nedelev, oh, lovely spin. Oh, he's taking the shot as well, work the keeper, we'll get a corner. Well, Atletico with their tails up, we've got a sign of intent here from the lads. Silva to deliver, whips it inside, it's a little bit deep. We have to get back here, sort up. Manuel, oh, he's giving that one away. No, Alvarez recovers it, feeds it inside. Gallardo, try to whip it through, picked off. We'll have to be careful on the counter. Oh, good work from Gallardo. Dodges and weaves his way through the traffic, lays this one off. Manuel, oh, good save. Silva picks it off and then he gets picked off. Oh, Alvarez has stripped him. Oh, tried to take it on. Picked off again. Oh, everyone's just running around. It's relentless pressure from both teams. Absolute pace to this game. Rodriguez gets done through the middle. Here they come. Manuel misses the challenge. Feed it out wide. Back inside. Here's the strike and there's the goal. Well worked. Their first real threatening attack forward and they put it in the back of the net the 23rd minute. Well, we've had an absolute handful of shots at them. Unable to score, they come up the other end and really make us pay. Lovano says, how about a little bit more help, boys? Just absolute precision passing. Oh, that is, a, that is an exquisite goal. Lovano probably could have done more, but it didn't matter. He just got wrong-footed and couldn't get to it. 1-0 down. Plays this one off, Ned left. Alvarez. Gets it forward, here is the Mexican. Prado! Oh! Fuck's sake, stop giving the ball away! Rodriguez, mark your man! Fuck me! 1 0. It's Manuel. Oh, fuck off with your shit passing! Everyone is a cunt today! Don't fucking mark it out of the way, Diaz! Prado trying some trickery. Works his way forward. Oh, leveled. Fuck off, ref. Manuel. Nedelev plays it forward. Damien Silva. Oh, come on. Settle, boys. Get back. Fucking run. Oh, Rodriguez. Really? Really? You absolute fuck nugget. What a load of shit. Go 
Oh, fucking idiot. Yes, Lovato! Penalty save! Silva. Bring it down. What the fuck? Three changes. Carl Dennis, Garcia, Castaneda check in for Gallardo, Nedelev, and Alvarez. Come on, boys. Get us in the game. Come on, Castaneda. Come on, Castaneda. Come on, Castaneda! Oh! Fucking can't keep his shot down. Oh, there's the whistle of fucking 1 0 defeat. We had them on fucking skates. So many shots. Just can't finish our dinner. Nine shots to seven. We even had the possession, but we just could not find the back fucking net. 7.3 for Nedelev, 7.1 for Lovato, four saves, 6.7 Rodriguez, 6.9 Suda, 6.4 Castillo, 6.3 Diaz, 6.4 Garcia, 7.2 for Manuel, 6.8 for Silva, 6.6 Castaneda, 5.9 for Gardena, 6 for Prado, 6.9 for Gallardo, uh, Alvarez, 7.1, Nedelev, yep, yeah, we've already done these. Get voting up in the eye, your player of the match, but oh, fuck, another loss. Right, it is the 1st of February. Let's have a look at our youth academy. Uh, Leonardo Duarte is uh, 79 to 93. Alicia Wakuna, 78 to 92. Uh, Simon Granero, he's 17, so he's almost there. Uh, Placido Bello, 60, uh, 76 to 90. He's dropped off a little bit. Ivan Avila, 81 to 91. Nicola Russo is at 87 to 93. Luciano Arnos, the savior that we're waiting for, uh, still not 18. Uh, Joachim Magellan, 86 to 92. Daniel Amaral, 87 to 93, looking like he could be a superstar in the future, but three years away. Giovanni Gasparoni, 84 to 90. Diego Rios, 89 to 94. And Manolo Reina, still waiting on 85 to 91. Right, our first scout report is back from Japan, and after I got the six, rid of the six players with no faces and no potential, we're left with two players, uh, Hattori and Nagahama. Uh, we won't be signing either of those at this stage. Right, we are here in Greece, and uh, there's some definite hilarious names floating around that will uh, not roll off my tongue very well. Papadakis uh, looks all right at 68 to 92, six foot five, but only 15 years of age. So we'll monitor these lads a bit closely. Uh, Mavrudis looks all right, but we'll have to wait and see how he turns out. We'll continue to scout these lads for a few more months. And we are here in Spain looking for some more players. Fernando Alonso, maybe he's given up Formula One and decided to take up football. Another five foot seven, 73 to 94, 46 to 60 overall. Possibly worth bringing in, but I'm gonna wait another month on him. Uh, but yeah, rubbish. Mancini warns players to use their heads in what some will view as a little more than a bid to dampen down further ahead of a clash with fierce rivals Rayo Vallecano. Mancini said he would treat the upcoming fixture no differently to any other game. It's easy to get carried away with these types of games, he said, and I know the fans and the local press love to stir things up ahead of the match, but I have warned our players they need to remain cool in these games. It's a long, hard season. We do not need to be diving in recklessly and picking up silly red cards. I will look very dimly indeed on any player of mine who fails to demonstrate that he is thinking clearly. He warned this, uh, well, basically what Mancini's just wanted to say in a couple of words or less is, don't be a dickhead, fucking defend, get forward, and hopefully we can win the game. Well, there will be more stories coming up. Let's go and have a look with Pierre Mosher. Mosher. Pierre Mosher in the Media Watch. Media Watch with Pierre Mosher. Today on the Media Watch, we've got a message in here from Giles Dishelbout, and uh, apparently the relationship between Lovato and the Atletico Madrid fans isn't good. Some people say that the Belgium team and Ligt is keeping an eye on the situation of the promising goalkeeper. Well, unfortunately, we do have a transfer ban, so Lovato would have to rip up his contract if he wanted to move away from the club, but we will monitor this situation to see if he does want to go to the Belgian side. Michael Stewart is in with the Media Watch today and in an attempt to have a positive effect on the young players in the squad. Atletico manager Mancini took his squad to the local children's hospital to see the fans suffering from various serious injuries and illnesses. With all the recent doom and gloom, the visit is said to have inspired the team and it's shown on the training ground with huge improvements in effort and determination from the lads. This will begin to show in future performances. Watch this space. 
Vintage Mo is checking in on the media watch today and the Atletico Madrid fans are begging Mancini to get a young, strong centre-back into the team with Nelson not recently putting in good enough performances. With Atletico's transfer ban, it looks like Mancini will have to find that solution in the youth academy. One example of this is uh, the Portuguese centre-back Daniel Amaral. The young, talented lad has a bright future ahead of him. Unfortunately, he can't sign a first-team contract yet because he is 15. But is this the signing that immediately get first-team action when he turns 16? Will he be able to rock that defence for Atletico? Well, unfortunately, he will need to be 18. We do not want to breach our Article 19 clause. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, please do check it out. Uh, it, it is quite extensive what is involved with the, the Article 19 clause. And, and that's what we've been in trouble with in the past. So we cannot breach that. Uh, we cannot sign any Spanish, uh, non-Spanish players until they turn 18. But uh, a bright future, it looks like, for Daniel Amaral. Hopefully he lives up to the potential. And when he does turn 18, he'll be fit and ready to go for Atletico Madrid. And finally, in the media watch today, it's Costas Varelikonis again. Uh, and apparently he's been out surveying some fans. Uh, recent surveys have demonstrated that 88% of Madrid football fans uh, only support Real Madrid and only 10% support Atletico, while the remaining 2% are in favour of all other small clubs. It's worth mentioning that last year, 31% of people supported Atletico, so uh, the fan base is fading. Mancini is losing the fans, he's losing the club, and it uh, looks like he's losing the mentality of the players on the pitch. But uh, hopefully a couple of wins and... Uh, There'll be a restored faith in the fans. But watch this face. We'll have more messages coming in on the Media Watch in the not too distant future. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We're at the Wanda Metropolitano once again. We're taking on Rayo Vallecano. And Mancini has gone into his little black book of tricks and he's decided to bring the wall out again. It helped us out last time. We're taking on fifth place Rayo Vallecano and they are going to be absolutely knocking on the door. We sit in 20th position. Desperation is setting in here for Atletico. It's a wet day here in Madrid, but uh, hopefully the boys are up for the challenge. Let's get straight into the game. Come on, boys. Work from Gallardo, Alvarez, Manuel. It's the run on here from Favor. Plays it down the line. Castaneda, who's playing right wing back today, cuts back nicely. Trying to bring it inside. It was fucking casted. Here we go. Counter attack. Gallardo plays it forward. Here's Eduardo. Plays it off, Alvarez. Oh my days, Alvarez all the way back to Nelson. Nearly gave it away. Manuel plays it off. Favor. Try to slip forward. Where's Aguado? Nowhere to be seen. Alvarez. Manuel. Alvarez! No, no, no. Oh, I took a deflection. We've got a corner here at Letico Madrid. Gallardo to deliver. The end of it, Castillo will get out here to clean this one up. Well, for Manuel, they're having real trouble breaking down this defensive line here. Is Rayo Vallecano? It's a poor pass, though. We're not getting out clean enough. There's Alvarez does well, Alvarez, and pushes his way forward here. Oh, just that extra touch he's got at the moment. He just needs to sort that out. Closing in on half time, there's a ball over the top. Galano gets the touch on, here's Carl Dennis, and there is the whistle. Well, we've basically sat back, defended, and tried hitting him on a counter. It's, uh, no team able to break this deadlock at half time. We hold fifth place, Raul Vallecano, to nil all. Right, we need to freshen up a little bit. Ned Levin Prado, we're going to check in for Gallardo and Alvarez. We need the fresh legs, we need to be running forward. Come on, boys. Oh, Carl Dennis. Does well, slips it off. Prado! Oh, straight at the keeper. Come on, boys. I can taste the victory. Oh, to Guado. Oh, lovely touch. Oh, Guado. Finish. Castaneda. Yeah. Oh, called off sign. You are sucking a massive dick, ref. Don't fucking deny me. Oh. All that hard work, and we get fingered. Well, with that, we'll make our final change. Lopez checks in for Cardenas, and uh, oh, heartbreaking. Good work. Lopez. Prado. Milano, wrong way, dickhead! Fuck! I was holding left! Plays it forward. Eduardo. Plays it off. Favor. Castaneda onside this time! Oh, good save! Good fucking save! Oh, lovely touch. 
He's into the box. Manuel! Fuck! We're working it. We're working it. Lopez. Brings it in. Oh! Oh! Plays it off. Castaneda again. He's been fucking everywhere. We'll lay this one off to a favour. Who is absolutely dead. Lays it back here. Manuel, work your way through, boys. Gets the touch on. No, oh, what was that touch, Ned Lev? No, that was the opportunity. We had him pants down. Castillo. Lovato drives long. No one there for it, though. There's the whistle. Well, a valiant performance. Oh, we had some big opportunities. It's a nil-nil draw. And we score a point out of it. The wall is working defensively. Well, five shots apiece. We had the possession and the tackles. And, well, this little majestic fucking move from Mancini for uh, about 12 players at the back. Castillo, four tackles and an intercept, gets an 8.0. 6.2 for Lopez, 6.1 net left, 6.5 for Prado, 7.2 for Castaneda. Oh, I can't believe he was denied that goal offside. 7.3 for uh, Rodolfo Gallardo with four intercepts, 6.5 for Guado, 7.4 for Sancho Gallardo, Gallardo. Sergi Alvarez has 6.7, he attacked early. Cardenas looked good at 7.3. Lovato only had to make the one save, 6.6. .6. Uh, Favor looked all right, 7.3. Jose Manuel, 7.6. Uh, Nelson is 7.3. Castillo, and 8. So uh, get voting up in the eye for your player of the match. Another point. Uh, scraping our way up the table, maybe. Right, it is a new month, so uh, I'm going to leave the training for this one. Make sure you put your uh, personal training request down the bottom. Let's do a squad report so you can see how the players are coming along. Right, Lovano's up 14 to 66. Rodriguez up 3 to 54. Uh, what else have we got here? Castillo up 16 to 55. Uh, Galano's up 3 to 59. Diaz up 4 to 57. Manuel up 2 to 60, showing great potential. Uh, we've got Silva at a 60, up 2. Romero's up 3 to a 52. Lopez up 2 to a 61, no potential. Uh, Garcia's up 2 to a 50. Alberto up 2 to a 54. Singh, 55. Nedelev up 1 to 62. Alvarez a 55, up 3. Castaneda up 6 to 54. Prado's up 1 to 50. Aguado's up 4 to 60. He's an exciting prospect. Cardenas is a 62, up 1, an exciting prospect. Gallardo up 2 to a 65, showing great potential. So get those training options in the comments section down below. Right, let's do a player upgrade on our uh, left winger here in Cardenas. Uh, if you want to make any changes to his number or his kit, let me know in the comments section down below. Of course, the one with the most thumbs up gets the upgrade in a future episode. So get commenting and make sure you're smashing a like on the ones that you think do fit this player. Right, and just like that, we come to the end of another episode. We're sitting in 20th now. Um, so... <sighs> Things are getting dire. Uh, our manager rating is still dropping um, the wall. I mean, we're getting opportunities and we seem to be a little bit better defensively. Maybe we will need to play with that formation a little bit more um, just to try and scrape a few points here and there. Uh, it's a bit unconstitutional, but it seems to be getting the job done. Uh, the boys are streaming forward when we do have the ball and I don't know. It seems to be working a little bit for us. We just need to be able to get that final finish. Uh, it's just... Oh, just so frustrating. But uh, that is where we'll leave today's episode. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Uh, let me know what you think of the wall formation. Make sure you're getting your comments down for training and the player upgrade. And we will see you in the next episode. I'm Spiring DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And you have a good one.